Before you attempt multiplying three positive and negative numbers, first make sure you can multiply and divide two positive and negative numbers. So let's have a look at example one. So we've got minus three times minus two times minus seven. So the first thing we need to do then is to work out minus three times minus two. So if we multiply two negatives together, you get a positive answer, all right? So minus three times minus two will be plus six. We then need to now multiply that answer by negative seven. So again, we can use our rules for our multiplying positive and negative numbers. So this time we have a positive times a negative. So a positive times a negative will give a negative answer. So 6 times 7 is 42. So our final answer is minus 42. So let's look at our second example then. This time we have minus 6 times positive 2 times minus 3. So the first thing we need to do again is just to work out minus 6 times positive 2. So we've got minus 6 times positive 2. This gives us minus 12 because a negative times a positive is a negative answer. We then need to multiply this by negative 3. So minus 12 times minus 3. This will give plus 36 because we have two negative numbers being multiplied together and two negatives make a positive. Thanks for watching.